This is Algebra 2, Chapter 3, Section 3, Part A, in which we begin studying optimization methods using linear programming. The idea for linear programming is that we are finding the maximum or minimum value of something, some given function, and that function is subject to certain limitations, which are called constraints. Okay. You have uh, limited amounts of resources to work with for different things. And your job is to find the most effective way to allocate your resources so that you make the most profit or have the lowest cost or generate the most crops. Something to that idea. Now the way you solve these problems is first you have to find the feasible region. This means we're going to have to graph the constraints they gave us. And then we'll find all the possible points that could work. Once we have the region determined, then we take the corners of that region and plug those into the function to find the maximum or minimum values. Now we're going to start with the case where we're given the inequalities to have to work from. We're not going to start off having to write our own. Just, we're going to start with giving us inequalities to work from. So we've got some inequalities here. Negative 2 is less than x is less than 2, less than or equal. This means x is in between negative 2 and 2. So I'm going to go to x equals negative 2 and I'm going to graph my line. I'm going to go to x equals 2 and graph my line. And since x is in between those, I know I'm shading this middle section somehow. Okay. Now we have a similar looking thing for y. y is in between 1 and 6. Well, I know how to graph y equals 1. Draw a graph across 1, draw a line. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, draw a line across 6. So now I'm down to this box region right here. But we have one more to deal with. We have y is greater than x plus 3. Well, I know where x plus 3 would be. It starts at 3 and goes up 1 over 1. also down 1 over 1. And if I was super careful, then my graph is good. Now, where is my feasible region? My feasible region, we have to determine the last one. So I'm going to get rid of that dot. 0 is greater than 0 plus 3. That's false. So I can't shade at 0. So I have to shade away from 0. So it's this region. Okay. Now, we've got our graph. We found the right region to shade. It says name the coordinates of the vertices of the feasible region. That means name the corners. Well, how many corners do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four corners. They are at negative two, one, right here. Negative two, six. Positive two, six. And positive two, five. I can read them right off the graph. So those are my corners. Now we just have to plug in negative 2, 1 into the function they gave us. You'll notice we didn't graph the function. The function doesn't get graphed. The function is what we plug into. So I'm going to substitute in my negative 2 and my 1. Negative 5 times negative 2 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2. And some yahoo can't do his arithmetic. 
because we all know that's 12. 10 plus 2 is 12, not 13. First mistake I ever made. Let's plug in the negative 2, 6. Hopefully I did the arithmetic there better. That's 10 plus 12, 22. Okay, just plugging and chugging here. Plug in 2 and 6. Negative 10 plus 12 is 2. And plug in 2 and 5. Negative 10 plus 10 is 0. They want us to find the maximum and the minimum values. Which one is the largest out of these? 22 is the largest, so we call that the maximum. 0 is the smallest, so we call it the minimum. Okay. I'm going to ask you to pause and try to do one yourself here. Graph this system. And then find the corners, find the feasible region, find the corners, plug them in. Come back and check your answer. Okay. Hopefully you were able to make a graph that had y between negative 6 and negative 2. So those two lines. y equals... 2x plus 2 is this line. y equals negative x plus 2 is this line. 0 is less than 2 is true for both lines, so we shade below those two, and we shade in between these, and it gives us this trapezoid region. The four corners negative 4, negative 6, negative 2, negative 2, 4, 2, and 8, negative 6. We plug those into the function, and we determine that 32 is the maximum value of the bunch, and negative 48 is the minimum value. Hopefully you were able to drive through that without too much difficulty. Now, sometimes your feasible region doesn't close up. And in that case, we can't get both a max and a min. We get one or the other. Okay. So we have three inequalities to graph. 2y plus 3x is greater than or equal to negative 12. y plus 3x or y is less than 3x plus 12, less than or equal, and y is greater than or equal 3x minus 6. Okay. Well, I know how to graph these, but I'm going to have to use different strategies for the first one. I need to find the intercepts. So if I put in x equals 0, then y equals negative 6. And if I put in y equals 0, x equals negative 4. That gives me my first line from x equals negative 4 down through y equals negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's my first line. 0 is greater then negative 12 is true, so we would shade that way. Move my little arrow up there. Now our second line starts at 12, 10, 11, 12, and goes up 3 over 1, which is going to go way off there. But I could also go back go down 3 and backwards 1, which is what I'm going to do. Oops, wrong kind of line. Switch back to that one. Should be somewhere in that area. 0 is less than 12 is true, so I'm going to shade this way, 
Okay. And then one more line to graph. The intercept is negative 6. And the slope is up 3 over 1. Zero is greater than zero minus six. Zero greater than negative six is also true. So our region that we get is this one. And it doesn't close up. Well, we can get two corners, because we have those. We have negative 4, 0 as a corner, and 0, negative 6 as a corner. So we'll plug those values in. 9 times negative 4 minus 6 times 0 is negative 36. 9 times 0 minus 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. One of these is a max, one of these is a min, but I don't know which way the function goes, so I'm going to pick another point inside the region. The only time I have to do this is when it doesn't close up. So I'm going to pick the point 0, 10. It's not inside the region, or it is inside the region. It's not on the lines, but it's inside the region. If I plug in 0, 10, 9 times 0 minus 6 times 10 is negative 60. Well, that's clearly smaller than either of these, so I can't say I have a minimum, but I do have a maximum. Okay. Hopefully, as always, if you had questions along the way with graphing those and getting the shading and getting the corners, if you had questions along the way, you wrote those down, bring them in, and we will see you in class.